Are you satisfied with your silver stack? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. This video is primarily for the new stackers watching my channel. I appreciate all my subscribers and viewers, but I do have a special place in my heart for those of you just starting your stacking journey. I get emails from you, you leave comments, you're, you're just so excited about you know, what you're starting to do. You, you tell me about the, you know, the first American Eagle you got, the first bar, some constitutional silver. You got a zillion questions. It's really, really cool. And I just wanted to make a video for you. This is the priority for this video. Are you satisfied with your silver stack? It's a challenging question. And before you just answer with a <laughs> no, Yankee, what are you talking about? <laughs> this is stupid. Why'd you ask that question? I'm going to just click on some cat video. <laughs> Hear me out. Okay. And, and, and actually, it may be worth some silver to you if you do listen to me. So let's just clarify what I mean when I say, are you satisfied? You know, what I'm really asking is, are you content with what you have in your silver stack? Content. It's not the same as complacent. Okay, those are, those are two different things. And I'm going to explain uh, what, what I mean by that in a bit. But what if you couldn't buy silver for five more years? The next time your stack grew was in 2025. Would you be okay with that? <sighs> Frankly, what I, I, I see a lot of you, uh, you know, leaving in uh, comments on my channel is a little concerning to me sometimes. I, 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 I hear things like... Um, I only have uh, X amount of ounces, Yankee. Uh, it's really not a lot. Uh, or um, uh, I've had to stop buying so much due to my uh, financial circumstances, Yankee. I, I, I can't do it. Uh, I, here's one. I don't feel like I'm doing enough with my stacking. Or, or uh, I'd love to do a video. Yankee on my stacking progress, but you know, it's, it's, it's small. I got, I got some constitutional silver, um, you know, a few quarters, a couple ounces here and there, but it's, it's really small. It, and this one just blows my mind. I, I, I got this, uh, from someone I'm a teenager and I just have a few silver Eagles and a one ounce silver bar, a, a teen, a teen stacking. I cannot tell you how inspired I am by that. That is that, that is so radical for a, a, a Gen Z to put his or her uh, hard-earned cash into silver. I mean, wow. <laughs> you know, if I had um, thought uh, that way, you know, the ways I've described, I could tell you, I, I don't think I would have started my... YouTube channel. No, in fact, I, I'm quite sure I wouldn't have. I don't think I would have felt uh, worthy enough, if you will, to, to discuss stacking. All right. Let's just, let's deal with this too. I think there may be some of you out there that say, yeah, but Yankee, <laughs> what about the cannon? Okay, fine. Let, let's just put that aside. Let's forget about that. Let's ignore the fact that that represented a strategic move back in 09 based on you know decades of saving and a lot of frugal living. Okay, I, I, I wasn't born wealthy. I came from a middle class family. I had a, you know, they had a, I had a single breadwinning father. I did get a degree. I, I, I got a good paying job after I graduated. But I had to live every day of my adult life on a strict budget. I learned frugality from my parents and that helped me provide for five people in, a, in my family on, on one income, one paycheck. 
Okay, let's just skip the canon for a moment, shall we? Let's, let's talk about silver instead. I only started stacking silver, not including the small amount I did as a kid with my dad, but I only started in 2018. 2018, that's not a long time of stacking. Many in our community have been doing this for over a decade or more. Many of them are my mentors. They're my examples of what it means to be a responsible, really good stacker. Now, with a few eagles and some constitutional silver, I could have easily been discouraged, even embarrassed when I started. I mean, come on. The community is full of whales. There's always somebody bigger than you, always some you know monster stacker out there that can that can lay out tons and tons of silver on a on, on one or more tables, right? It, those are amazing videos to watch. I watched a lot of them. I drooled a lot. But but rather than you know uh, being intimidated, rather than being jealous or frustrated, I chose to stack on a budget one small purchase at a time. I had to negotiate with my better half. I had to explain the rationale to Mrs. Yankee, how I was not you know, technically spending cash, but really converting it into real inflation-resistant money. I told her that if I, you know, if we had an emergency, the silver could help us, you know, and, and, and that was important for her to hear. If I had tried to use that same logic with, you know, me buying a new set of golf clubs or something, uh, yeah, that would have been a mistake. It just wouldn't have worked at all. So, so how should that question be answered? Are you satisfied with your silver stack? And it has a lot to do with that difference I mentioned between contentment and complacency. If you, hear me out, if you are content, not just with your silver stack, but in every area of life, you will live a richer, freer, uh, more fulfilling life. If you are complacent with your stacking, or, or really in, in, in er any area of your life, uh, I instruct little stacks sometimes, you know, you, you, you got to do your homework. You, you, you got to be, you know, not complacent with your, your schoolwork, with, uh, with, a, with a job, with relationships. You know, if you are complacent with those things, you will fail. You'll fail to achieve your goals. You'll fail to, to become wealthy, especially in areas where it really counts. You'll fail to build meaningful relationships. So I challenge you to understand the difference between being satisfied or content and being complacent. Don't be discouraged with your silver stacking progress. Really, don't be discouraged. Rather, be content with where you're at and what you have. Never be you know, jealous of another man's stack. And realize it takes time. It takes, it takes discipline. It takes focus. It takes a lot of things to reach your goals. Also remember that it's not just about reaching your goals. It's also about the lessons you learn and the people you meet and get to know, the people you connect with. Uh, it, it's about the journey, not just the goal. So, I encourage you to prioritize what is really important with your life. And when it comes to precious metals, make sure you put this in the right place in life. Make it make sure it's you view precious metals in the right context. Be willing to set and reset your 2020 stacking goals. You know, I had a higher silver stacking goal at the start of 2020. <laughs> but I had to reset it due to these incredibly uh, you know, crazy prices over spot. I shifted. I shifted more towards gold. So be willing to, to reset those goals. 
don't make the goals so astronomically high. You know, make them reasonable. You know, for some, uh, the goal of a monster box this year might make sense. But for a lot of people, that could result in some foolish waste of cash. Don't go into debt. Okay, don't cause strife with your significant other or your family. And whatever you do, don't panic stack. You've got time to build your silver stack. You, you, you do have time. Some people think, oh my word, Yankee, <laughs> time's running out. I got to do this right now. I got to go fast. Do it responsibly. Be careful. Don't panic stack. Well, I hope all this has been somewhat encouraging for you. It's a tough one. Are you satisfied with your silver stack? I'm sure people will write in the comments, I'm never satisfied, Yankee. What are you talking about? No, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. The difference between being content with where you're at and and, and how your progress is coming and being complacent. Well, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell. And also check out the links below in the description. I've got some good things in there that may help you out. And as always, I hope your day is a okay. <laughs>